So we're going to give you a perfect example of an actual counter IED or IED type threat where a constant potential generator is going to provide you much more capability over a pulse system. And that's an anti X-ray device. And so in this example, we're going to use what we call a PIR. And a PIR is basically a radiation detector. It detects photons. That's all it does. And what an X-ray generator does, whether it's a pulse or a constant potential system, is shoot out photons, and it shoots it out in a cone. So what they'll try to do with a pulse system is they'll take something like a copper uh, filter and put it in front of it, and they're trying to reduce the amount of photons that are hitting something like a PIR. Another one that they'll use is a material called tantillum. And as you go up in the density of this material, the more photons it will absorb. This is all a guess. They have no idea, um, based on the sensitivity of this, if it's going to work or not. And again, the other thing that plays a huge role in the amount of x-ray imagery that's being applied from your generator is the distance. As your cone spreads out from it shooting from the generator, the photons get farther and farther apart. So one of the other crazy methods that they'll try is taking their generator and putting it 30 feet back in a hope that those photons get so far apart that when it hits the actual PIR, it doesn't trigger the PIR. This is all guesswork, ad hoc, and it makes no sense to me. Now, because I'm familiar with a constant potential generator, I know all I need to do if I think I have an anti-X-ray threat, I simply go into my software where it allows me to adjust the KV, the amperage, and the scan time. And through testing and evaluation, we figured out exactly where I can shoot this generator at any PIR and never set it off and still get a high quality x-ray image. No guessing with filters, 30 foot shots, which makes absolutely no sense. Constant potential generators provide you way more capability over a pulsed x-ray system.